in the attic space above the part of four this is the entire layout of the part from four which we obviously is above the laundry room and why we're up here is for me to decide whether this is the best place to put the ballon the water heater for apartment four and ultimately for anything we want to put in the laundry room <coughs> it as you understand it, this would be the bedroom area where I am standing and on the far side is where the toilet and the, the bathroom itself is going to go. So it's really to decide where I'm going to put the ballon. I have one issue with the water, uh, the actual mains water, which comes in on this side, on this other, this, the other side of this wall is apartment three or is the the loft of apartment three, which is where there is a water heater already and there's mains water coming in. So the the simplest, I don't know, the most direct route would probably become tee off of there and come round and do that, which is probably what I'm gonna do because I can run it down the side of the, the eaves here and it just makes sense to do that. Um, and then the, all the pipe work, probably over the other side of that A-frame and the pipe work will have a shorter run to go down in there. So that's the idea, and that's what we'll we'll have a look. Just to scout out, I love this space because if we were ever gonna have this as a, a home, this would have been my studio. I'd have left, left the A-frame in the middle, been absolutely brilliant. But this is this here, this area here. Um, is where the bathroom's going to go. So, ballon directly in front of me, pipe work straight down. It gets, there's a full ceiling in the bathroom, you know, so the electrics can come up here as well and go up and down. It's very windy today. Apologies for the wind if you can hear that on the thing. But um, yeah, so that's the idea. That'll all, um, it'll be nice and neat up here. And you can go down and that's the shortest route. That's the idea. I tell you what, the timbers up here are really good. This is this roof is, is amazingly alright. The metal. The only trouble with this plumbing lark is you get all this stuff over your fingers. And all this, uh, although there is a bonus because it's quite enjoyable when you're sitting there um, watching the telly, but picking all the bits off your hands, which is quite sort of satisfying. A bit like picking scabs. I, I didn't want to go down that road, <laughs> but you obviously did. So there you go. Um, the reason I am here on my knees is not, I'm not bowing down to the superiority of my darling wife, even though the last batch of comments seem to believe that she does it all on her own, which we know she does, and I'm just, you know, here sitting here having a cup of tea, as some old boy said to me once. Um, but yes, we finished all the plumbing on this side, we've got all our bits, um, we managed to get the shower, the toilet, and the basin all with pipe work up the top ready. However, you may, the sharper eyed of you may have realized that we're in a strange location compared to our planning video. Now that is the reason because we've decided, or somebody decided that the bathroom was better placed in another location, hence this location. Oh, we are in the corner of the room by the fireplace, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, because we decided that the other location would have been too difficult to hide big 
wife waste pipes and I've got literally I've gone straight down into my waste pipe that goes around in the laundry area um, which is really good the shower and everything like that so this is where the bathroom's going to be it just makes a lot more sense in the fact that it's a lot easier to deal with the pipes will come from under over the top down the wall in there the bungs going in there then all we need to do is run one pipe down into the laundry room in that corner where there's going to be a wall. The best thing in all the world now is I'm going to go and do me plasterboard in the laundry room. So even though we're going to start the plasterboarding, I can't totally complete it in the fact of that I'm just a little bit nervous about where that up there is where the shower is. Yeah. Now that obviously this is all glued in so this isn't going anywhere but on here is that's fixed by a compression joint. Yeah. Which is fine which means I can undo it take it out to fit to the shower tray drop it in um, but you well you have to drop it in that position. So the other thing is, is when this in the moment is screwed in because it gives me a location. But once I do it, it may drop and I may not be able to get it. So my idea is, is just to leave a section out of here so at least somebody, me or you, can position that and then we can get it screwed in on the, well, because the shower tray obviously will eventually seal the current in, but we want it not two places. It's a nice heavy tray, so it's lovely. But yeah, that's that's the only thing there. So everything else will be done. Cool. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. Fingers crossed. Better get on with it. All right. <laughs>
get them dust free and then treat them with uh, the termite treatment that I've got and it just hopefully will secure them for a little bit longer. Let's get started. By the way, it's a bit dark in here because we don't have any lights in this room. So all we've got is sort of the window, the one window. So uh, yeah, apologies if the footage is a little bit dark, but uh, until we get our electrician here, you're gonna have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Now this treatment we're doing at the moment is actually quite an expensive um, piece of the project. Just this room has cost me 40 euros. So you can imagine the amount of rooms that we have in the chateau and the amount of wood that we have to do the termite treatment and protection on it. it turns out to be quite expensive. Now I'm just gonna give you a closer look at these beams because as you look closer at them, you realize that they are a trunk of a tree. They are round at the top and they're on a trunk of a tree, so they've been carved out. Now, these beams are 700 years old, almost. Well, they were put in here 700 years ago, so how old the wood is, we don't know. But we could have just passed on this part of the project and not bothered with the woodworm treatment and saved ourselves some money if we only wanted to live in this property and for it to last as long as we're here. However, we don't. And I think that when you take on period properties like this, you take on the responsibility of preserving it for as long as you possibly can for the future. It's a piece of world history and it's a piece of world history that we want to keep going for as many years as possible, for as many centuries as possible. So just by doing this, hopefully it'll keep going for a bit longer. So with the first job complete, time to get on with the next one. This list of jobs was going to go down like a storm. Now what I'm actually painting this wall with is crepe. Um, it's a textured type of paint. Now there's two types of crepe you can get. One is a cement base and the other one is a lime based. If you've got stone walls like we have, the lime based is the way you want to go because it's breathable and allows the stone to breathe, just like when we do the mortaring. This has already got a layer of crepe on it. I'm just going over it with a fresh layer and just giving it a touch up really. The walls aren't bad in here at all. The only problem is it does take quite a while to put on. Now you can put it on with a trowel, but because I already have a layer on the walls, I'm putting it on with a paintbrush and just really stippling it in to get it all in between the other existing layer. So it's taking quite a while, I'm afraid. So while I'm doing it, I thought I would quickly just uh, speak about a few of their comments recently 
And firstly, I would just like to say thank you to everyone. We've had just so many amazing comments at the moment. You guys are just so lovely. And uh, a lot of those comments have been about how good the video editing has now got. Thank you. Thank you for noticing, because I've been working so hard on it. But um, I have to say, it's not without help. I called out to a few people and asked for some help on how I could improve my videos, my vlogs. And um, I'd like to say a big thank you to one of our patrons, Rob Katko. He has been giving me some amazing advice on editing the videos, what to spend time on, what not to spend time on. And, and I think it's really worked. I like them. I enjoy doing them actually now. I'm really enjoying the sort of creativity side of it. So thank you so much, Rob. You have just been so much help to me. But then another thank you goes out to Ryan. You must all know Ryan from Life of Ryan. We all love him dearly. And um, Ryan, I have to say, is one of very few people doing this YouTube vlogging business um, that actually goes out of his way to help other people and he's done it quite a lot and um, I love him for that I think that's so great we did put um, some feelers out to quite a few people doing the same thing as us the response wasn't very good um, but Ryan thank you so much being the person who did come back and give us loads of advice and has been really really helpful so thumbs up to you and I'm just so pleased that you all enjoying them at the moment Long may it continue. Anyway, bit of gum with me painting. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've done it before the end of the day. Baby? Oh my gosh! We've got proper walls up! Yep. Wow! Yeah, not bad. I brought you a cup of tea, baby. Thank you very much. It's brilliant though, isn't it? It looks alright. Should be ready to go. Once all the lights are in and everything. Yep. It's all, uh, yeah, I've done, you know, there's lots of, bit, lots of bits of tinkering to do. Um, I've got to make, uh, take that off, finish that edge, do some little bit of boxing in. I've left that open because of um, yeah. uh, issues upstairs, but that's fine. But, uh, yeah, just a little bit of, bit. I didn't want to do that bit until I've done the other side, but once... Uh, it's so, not, it's yeah. ready for me to come and take a joint? Well, you can take a joint once there. Um, you might want to wait until the rest of it's in, but I, you know, yeah, why not just go ahead and do it? I don't know what we're going to do in the bottom, so if it's just once you've mixed up, when we. It'll just be, yeah. Uh, yeah, finishing off there. So, another good week. Um, 
it got on really, really well. Um, I'm happy with what I've got done uh, this week, and we're as far forward as I think we can be. How'd you get on upstairs? Yeah, good. I've got two of the jobs done. That's brilliant. So that's brilliant. I think that room I might be able to finish in seven to ten days. It's well, just really the electrician which will hold us back. And that's the same on this room as well, isn't it? So pretty much, just yeah. whenever Lee can get in, if that will be the only thing that will hold us back on this room and the hallway. Yeah. So Yeah, the hallway is not you know, it's all about the furniture and it's all about the electricity. You've, I think you've done um, what you can do, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, sorry, the dogs have just decided to have a big bust up. But um, go on, there you go. Thanks everybody for watching. Come back and see us next week, and hopefully we'll be another leap forward. Yeah, see you next week, and uh, don't forget like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. See you later. Take care, everyone. Thumbs up as well. Thumbs up. Apparently it all does good. <laughs> See you later. Uh, oh, got me tea. Hang on a minute. If you would like to help support our channel, you can always leave us a tip on buy me a coffee. Take care, everyone. See you soon.